Hello everyone. Last time we have actually used uh, this same network for our static routing and we gave the network input from the configuration. Today we will use the same network and we will um, the, give the comment from the CLI. So let's copy this whole network and let's paste this here. And as this is really complicated for four networks, so I will show it for three network. And if you actually understand for three network, you can do this same thing for the four network or five network, how many network you want to add. I just deleted the router because this was actually copied from the previous one where all the information were actually inside the router. So I'm just taking another router and connecting them. I'm connecting with fast ethernet 0 and 0, 1 and 2 like this with the router and now I'm just taking the serial ports here because I don't have enough ethernet port so I just took the serial port and now we will connect it with the serial DT wire. Okay, let's just wait for a bit for the serial port to appear there and after the booting is done then we can actually connect them. I think it is done already so let's just connect it with serial port 0 to serial port 0 and this router serial port 1 to this router serial port 0. Okay, now it is done. And here you can see that inside the first router, router 0, here we will start by enabling the router and after the hashtag appear you write, need to write configure terminal and you can actually write config t and then press enter. After this you need to enter the router configuration and here we need to give the fast ethernet port that we want to configure. Here we need to, we need to give the IP address and the subnet mask. So here the IP address and then subnet mask will be class A IP sorry class C IP address so this will be the IP address and after that uh, no shutdown and then press enter again and here interface serial now we are using the serial port because with the first router we have our ethernet port and serial port connected to other networks so here here the IP address will be uh, class A IP address so the subnet mask was uh, 255 and then 30 okay now for router 1 here we need to do the exact same thing first we just need to declare all the port that is connected to the router and after that we will declare all the networks uh, that is actually that we need to uh, give for sending and receiving data so first let's do this for all three router. By actually writing the no shutdown we are just changing the status from actually uh, down to up. So that line will turn green as you have seen in the previous video too. So I'm not just, I'm not actually showing that, I'm just writing that code here. Okay. So here the subnet mask and okay I actually need to give the proper IP address or else it will actually show some error. Okay after this no shutdown. So that line will also turn green and after that we need to write the serial port and serial port 1 IP address will be 11.0.0.2 then the mask and after that no shutdown and here in the third router here after enabling them config terminal and then serial port 00, zero for this we will use 192.168 then 12.1 and then the mask 
and no shutdown and then the serial port that we need to actually configure again so interface serial 000 IP address and mask if there was another router connected to this one then we need to do the same thing again for that router too so this is the third router and if we want to actually write the network here for this we need to actually add this routers network so let's just add the IP address here so that we can actually understand the route and next hop clearly okay here okay now let's go back again and here for router 2 we need to give the network so for this let's just write the term here we are inside the router config so we need to actually give IP route for static we need to write it like this IP route and then what is the network that is beside this router that is directly connected to it we need to give them like this the whole network and you know that the network is actually represented by dot zero so we are using 192.168.11.0 and then we gave the subnet mask and the next hop 11.0.0.2 and here the next network for that will be IP route and that network is 192.168.10 that means the first router and here the subnet mask is same but the network you can see that this is also using 11.0.0.2 but we need to actually access this route by the 11.0.0.2 that means IP route now will be 10.0.0.0 and then subnet mask and the route will be accessed by this 11.0.0.2 that will be our next hop so this is the exact same thing that we have actually done when we actually give this network through the configuration but here we are actually writing this as a code that is why we are using this okay so now I am going to do this for the uh, second router too I am just using both the network as this is in the middle both the router are connected directly so I am just using the uh, next hop that is beside it so we don't need to actually have three network here we will have only th uh, two network that is connected here okay then router 0 here the network will be IP route here 11.0 will be one network and the next hub will be 10.0.0.3 and then this network and for this also the next hop will be same because we cannot actually jump across it I have actually stated that in the previous video where we actually uh, did the static routing and here then I need to actually access this uh, route 11 11.0.0.0 and we need to access it via 10.0.0.3 okay so this is it now if we actually send the message you can see the message will go successfully first time it will fail and then after that it will actually be successful so let me just send first and now if we send it any from any computer to any computer it will be successful so that is how you actually write the CLI command and if you go to static routing you will see the network address already added there too